That verdict spurring conversations about police reform and use of force nationwide this week. And tonight in Austin, people from across the city just wrapped up the Community Police Review Commission's eight can't wait town hall. The goal to help shape the police department's policies and address public safety concerns. Cake Sands Jennifer Sanders explains how they plan to develop proposals to make policing safer for law enforcement and the neighbors they serve. The emotional weight of the past 24 hours hangs heavy for these Austinites. Following the Derek Chauvin verdict out of Minneapolis, they're now looking at home. They launched into conversations to restructure Austin Police Department's use of force policies. When we advocate for these policies, it's not because we think these are feel good policies, but because we are confident that they will save people's lives. There's a collective mourning. There's a mourning personally, there's a mourning for my family and family members who who look like me. Amani C is the chair for the Community Police Review Commission gathering public feedback Wednesday night. The independent commission is comprised of volunteers chosen by the city manager. They focus on critical cases involving violence by an APD officer. These are life and death decisions that we're making. How do we come together as communities around our nation and say, this is what we truly believe and this is how our policing reflects those beliefs and values. Don't shoot! The focus, Ape Can't Wait, a national movement of these eight policies looking to reduce police violence. According to the campaign, the blue and green check marks show the five policies APD has in place. But the site says the department is still reviewing policies involving banning shooting at moving vehicles, exhausting all alternatives before shooting and comprehensive reporting. The last includes required reporting for when an officer aims a firearm at someone. This language is very complex. C's commission will now use community feedback to develop recommendations for APD and city council. This is not a moment in history. This is not a moment in time that we're going through. This is a life's work. In Austin, Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. Next month, the Community Police Review Commission will share written recommendations shaped by tonight's conversation with the public, Austin Police and City Council. The Office of Police Oversight says six of those APD policies require more detailed language to be effective. Go to our website, kxan.com, to learn how to weigh in on the commission's conversations. A day after former police officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty of murdering George Floyd, the focus is shifting from Minneapolis to Washington. The U.S. Department of Justice is launching a civil investigation to determine whether the Minneapolis Police Department engages in what they call unconstitutional or unlawful policing. At the same time, the White House is pressuring the Senate to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act that the House approved last month. This can be a giant step forward in the march toward justice in America. The bill would make it easier to prosecute officer misconduct and ban practices like chokeholds. Republicans staunchly oppose some of the provisions, but today indicated a compromise could be on the horizon in the next week or two. Tomorrow at 5, the Austin Justice Coalition is holding a social justice rally. The vigil is at Houston Tillotson University in honor of George Floyd, Dante Wright, Breonna Taylor, and many others. The Austin Justice Coalition is a grassroots advocacy organization that addresses racial, criminal, and economic justice.